This instruction will teach you how to regain the normal curve in your neck. You have been prescribed a home spinal rehabilitation program using fulcrums or molding blocks. It is very important that you follow these instructions carefully so you can achieve the best results. You must use both a cervical spine fulcrum for the neck and a lumbar spine fulcrum for the lower back at the same time. The placement of the fulcrums is the most important part of this rehabilitation program. Notice the positioning of the fulcrum so that the ramp are facing towards the head on the cervical fulcrum and the ramp on the lumbar fulcrum is pointing towards the buttocks. Begin by sitting on the floor with your knees bent. Slide a lumbar fulcrum behind you with the long ramp touching the buttocks. Sit on top of the lower portion of the fulcrum. When you position the lumbar fulcrum to your lower back, the apex of the fulcrum should be positioned at the L3 vertebrae, which is one hand length above your belt line. The fulcrum should fit into the small of your back. Notice how the fulcrum hugs the lumbar spine and the long portion of the ramp extends to the buttocks. Raise your pelvis into the air with your knees bent so that you can reposition the lumbar fulcrum. Allow your pelvis to rest on top of the fulcrum to determine if it is positioned into the small of your back. You may have to readjust the fulcrum two or three times to be sure it is positioned correctly. It should feel like it fits and hugs the small of your back. Remember to place the apex of the fulcrum at about a hand width above your belt line. You will next position the cervical fulcrum into position by partially sitting up and being careful to keep your position on the lumbar fulcrum. Slide the neck fulcrum with the ramp facing towards the skull. The placement of the neck onto the cervical fulcrum should be at the C7 vertebrae, which is a large bump in the lower portion of your neck. The fulcrum should be placed on or just one inch above this bump so that you feel in the lower neck. You can find the bump in the lower portion of your neck by flexing your neck forward and running your fingers down the spine to feel the large bump. As you position your neck onto the fulcrum, be sure that the top of the fulcrum touches this C7 vertebrae. The next most important detail is how to extend your neck over the fulcrum, allowing your head to rest on the ramp. It is extremely important that you extend the neck over the fulcrum. Do not simply extend your skull, but rather focus on the neck bending backwards. Notice how the neck extends rather than the jaw simply being raised up. If you find that your jaw is raised up to the fullest extent, you may be having more skull extension rather than neck extension. Be sure that the neck is bending backwards, not just your skull. Once you have positioned your spine correctly onto the lumbar and cervical fulcrums, the tops of your shoulders should be touching the neck fulcrum but not lying on top of it. You will lay flat on your back and extend your legs so they are no longer bent. You will lay on the fulcrums starting five minutes a day and then you will add one minute each day to the length of your session. You will perform the fulcrums every day. Your goal is to reach 20 minutes per day. If you encounter significant difficulty, talk to your doctor and do not increase the number of minutes in your session. Never lay on the fulcrums longer than 20 minutes in one session. When you are finished with your session, you will remove the neck fulcrum by sliding it out from underneath you. Do not sit up immediately after your session. Bend your knees after your session. Remove the neck fulcrum first, then raise your pelvis up and slide the lumbar fulcrum out from underneath you. You will lay flat on your back with your knees bent for two minutes at the end of every session. It is important to rest for two minutes to allow stabilization and for decompression of your spine to allow it to adapt to the stretching that has occurred in the ligaments and muscles of the neck. The goal is to reshape the curve in your cervical spine. Always perform the fulcrums on the floor. Do not attempt to watch television or read while using the fulcrums. If you have any questions, please consult your doctor.